there's a wonder at sunrise at evening. There's a wonder I see, but the wonder of wonder that thrills my soul is a wonder that God loves me. Psalms chapter 116, verses 12, David writes, What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? David made taste upon the goodness, the, the good things that God had bestowed in his life. Remember his childhood job? He was a shepherd. Many things could have happened whilst he was at the flocks. The jaws of the lions, God saved him. Remember his encounter with Goliath, just a small boy as he was, but with privilege to fight against a huge man like Goliath. He sees the benefits that God had bestowed in his life. Think of his time when Saul was after his life, but after all God protected him. He meditates upon his incidents with Bathsheba, but still God protected him. There is a time when David was a king. He put his trust on the things of this world, but later on God gave him a good lesson. He went to battle and he was defeated badly, but when he came back to his senses, he writes, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I will trust in the Lord. Upon seeing all these things, he writes, What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? For sure he saw the benefits that God had bestowed in his life. He saw all the goodness that God had bestowed in his life until he writes, What shall I render unto the Lord for the benefits he has bestowed in me? Let me come home. We need to think what the Lord has done for us. In such a difficult time like this, where better people uh, than us died and us bad people, we are still living. We need to ask ourselves, what shall we render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards us? Some of our people are better than us. They don't have jobs. But us, we have jobs. Some of one of the writers sings, chief of sinners, though I be, but alas, Jesus shed his blood for me. When sinners are counted, we are chief of them, but the Lord has bestowed blessings upon us. We plant and harvest plenty. The Lord is still faithful and gracious to us. It is a question for one to meditate. What shall you render unto the Lord? For all oh, the benefits that he has bestowed in, his, in your life, you understand your God and the blessings he has bestowed on you. The question comes, what shall you render unto the Lord? May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen.